Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's. This video is going to be the continuation of the Datatronic 5 settings for the WR9980 Windrow, so this will be part two. So the last menu to go through on this Datatronic 5, and there's so much information that it requires its own video, is the Windrower functions. You touch that and it comes up with a whole bunch of icons, so we're going to roll quickly through these. First one is Gear Range. I showed you how to change that on the main screen. The next one is your header settings. This one, of course, just shows you exactly where your header is at. You can also add a camera if you want. Engine is just gonna show you engine functions, field performance. It shows you acres per hour, gallons per hour. Um, your counters, you have the ability to go in and reset all of those counters. So if you're using those counters to record that you're doing custom work, um, you can see everything here. You've got time, you've got fuel, you've got def, you got header hours, your field areas, everything there. The zeros always zero it out. Our header settings menu, you used to go to a separate screen to do this, and, and of course, here we are. So most of the time you're going to run with your header in auto. Green, of course, is, is go, so it will automatically set the flotation pressure for you there all day long. Um, scroll gets you up and down. Of course, there's not a lot in this menu. This also gives you the ability to, if you wanted one side heavier or lighter on flotation for doing that opening round, you can go in there and you can adjust your left and right hand sides. Return takes us back out again. We're gonna to move to the service menu. So this goes into some calibrations. Um, you're really not gonna get into a lot of that. A lot of this is stuff for the text, but people will ask. The second menu there goes through and it, it gives you the serial number, the tire size. Again, it's stuff that the, that the techs are gonna use when they come out to do some servicing if you're having issues. Um, steering settings. So this also gives you some user settings here, um, but these are your steering wheel sensitivities. So you've got the low, medium and high on both how tight the wheel feels, that's the resistance, and then how sensitive it is. Of course, like normal, when you go into into third gear or into rear wheel steer gear, it's going to put the sensitivity to low and it's going to put the resistance as high as possible so that you're as safe as possible on the road. You also have your day night mode and the ability to change the brightness and the and the noise on your monitor in there. This one again does your screen brightness pretty straightforward. And the last one is your handle functions, which we've already gone through how to do that. Highlight the box, pick the thing that you want, touch the box, and it changes it accordingly for you. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.